Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, and we're going to start a timer. Uh, boom. TNT. Yo. Um, Have you ever been drugged against your knowledge? Uh, Wow. Any sort of drug at all. I mean, it could be anything. Like somebody sneak some alcohol into a beverage? Or, or yeah, put some alcohol in the punch, a little roofie in your soda, a little, little pot in your brownies, a little, you know, whatever, dude. A little Spanish fly in little, my meatloaf. A little LSD in your orange? No, Jonas. <laughs> I don't think I've... I mean, honestly, if I didn't know, then I didn't know, but I don't think right, so. Right, like, well, honestly, yeah. If it doesn't... I Me mean, neither. I've never had... <clears throat> there was a kid I knew in high school who, when he moved away to college, someone put LSD in his drink at a party. <laughs> Why would you waste your LSD? Right, right. I feel you. Um, and uh, well, the reason I bring this up is I'm sure you probably heard the story about the bride who put weed in all the food at her wedding. G- didn't tell anybody. At didn't the tell anybody. Oh, you then, didn't hear about this? And then giggled about it. Yeah, right. Yeah. And like, and uh, and you know, and I'm sure, like, in her mind, she's like, "Oh, it's only weed." But like, mm. if so- if I found out someone put something in my something without knowing me, I would beat the shit out of them, dude. <laughs> like, and I don't, and I don't mind. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not against like that sort of stuff. But like, you drug me, uh, I'm whooping your ass, dude. I love, like, I love it when you talk your ish. It, okay, look, you go to a wedding reception and they don't tell you that there's that in, in the food. I'm are mad. You going, are you, you're mad? I'm mad, yo. Okay, okay. I feel like that's deceitful as hell. And for me, my job doesn't random drug test. I don't have any things that if I if I happen to ingest marijuana or something, I wouldn't get sick or die or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. If somebody gave me alcohol, I, I wouldn't, it wouldn't affect, I don't have negative, nothing, it wouldn't affect me negatively in my life okay. any way other than deceit. And okay. the deceit would okay. piss me the f off. Uh, fair, yeah, fair. And uh, but fair. my but with this, it was like, what if there's like old people, people who anxiety, people who get drug tested at their job, people who kids are at right. this at this thing, like kids, man, dude. I could not imagine. And then, like, the guy who called the 911, he's like, I just feel like I'm on drugs. And, like, because he was, yo. Like, <laughs> if you're a straight laced person who's never done weed in your life, yeah. and you get put and you eat weed, it's even though it's yeah. harmless, you're going to feel weird. If it's your first experience with it and you're not, like, knowledgeable of it being your first you're not mentally prepared yeah right exactly Is dude like up on you yeah right like it's like someone who's done like even someone who's done lsd if someone lsds you and you yeah. don't know it you aren't gonna feel like you're going insane because you'll be like oh i recognize what's happening but this sucks because i didn't know it was happening but someone yeah. who's never done like acid and you try to give them acid they could literally think they're going crazy yeah it's it's one of those things where like this idea sounds good and like a uh in like a movie like a movie yeah yeah like oh ha, ha everybody's high and like, they all have a good time and <laughs> owen wilson decided he wanted to have a wedding yeah you know? right and he just gives all his buds a little bud <laughs> and adam sandler and reese witherspoon are in it and everyone's just like eating buckets of ice cream and laughing and falling <laughs> yeah. on the floor it's the best wedding ever yeah, dude. best wedding ever except for when grandma oh grandma got into it she's like my cataracts are healed <laughs> like i don't know like I did uh, like oh I would want to like I would I would have a hard time not like assaulting them I think like and yeah. I'm a very nonviolent person yeah but like even if it was like I would be like yo you're an asshole you don't have any idea what charges they were brought up on I don't see I don't think that she's been officially charged I, yet I mean oh I guess she's been charged but she hasn't been went to court obviously she's, she's got to be getting charged with something <laughs> well I mean technically and it's in Florida I think Florida's still pretty hard they used to impound cars for like finding a joint in the car so I mean mm-hmm. Florida's pretty used to be pretty strict against marijuana yeah so I mean she could be facing I'm, she's probably facing felonies yo no that's a good point man for, for like administering drugs to people like yeah. possibly children we don't know right yeah dude that'd be like if you put oxys in a in pu- in the punch 
Like, give everybody... Oxys in the punch. Like, oh, oops, we dissolved the whole prescription of Oxys in the punch bowl. Like... That's a killer party, though, right? <laughs> no, everyone would literally be laying around like a... Like, literally <laughs> like dead. Like, dead. Literally no joke. a killer party. Oh, we put fentanyl in the brownies. Everyone's dead. Literally a killer. Yeah, right? So, I don't know, man. Like, that really... I was like... Yeah, that's a little That's a little much. I, I agree. Um, I, I mean, I get it. It was funny. Ha ha ha. ha but it's, at the same time, you can't do that. Like, so. would you like what would, would you want to like beat the hell out of the person that did that to you? Like, like, I mean, I guess it depends. Like, if you if you put heroin in my Twinkie, then, yeah, we're going to fight <laughs> when I'm done being high. As yeah, after. right. Like, like, it's just more of the deceit from the trust. Like, you're at a wedding. Mm. All these people there are the closest people to you because they're coming to your wedding. Yeah. And then you break literally the trust that, that all of them. No one is going to want to be around you after that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. Like you said, you you're more the trust thing is a big thing. I mean, I guess I just don't I don't trust anybody yeah. to begin with. Well, so I'm right. like, I don't know if you well, can right. Really be- okay, dude. Like you come out and like I'm like, hey, I bought you a salad, and then you like eat the salad. I'm like, ha ha, there was LSD in it. I feel like you would that, not trust see, me as much. Like I said, like, it, it depends. <laughs> Like if you were like, hey, is it'd be like, like if I went to a party and I started drinking the punch, and I was like, wait, is there alcohol in this? And you were like, yeah, a little bit. And I'd be like, right on, you know. <laughs> and, well, I feel you. I feel like, and because I know that marijuana is largely harmless, right. Especially ingested. It's like if I was like, is there stuff in this? And they're like, yeah. I'd be like, oh. Okay, I, I mean, like, you probably should have let me know. Right, I'd be like, oh, that's kind of shitty. I, you know, I'm, I'm okay with it, I guess, you know, at this but point. I'd still be mad. But if it yeah. was like I said something heavier than, yeah. Right, like, it's cocaine Kool-Aid. Like, yeah, that's a problem, thank you. And I, like I said, kind of like I said. With but the, for some people, weed is that big of a deal. And that, that's very true. You know, some people, alcohol, what if like, what if there's an alcoholic Who's been clean for twenty years? They're drinking the punch. Now all of a sudden they go, they they relapse. Yeah, exactly. You know, like exactly th- that sort of. Or someone who was hooked to weed, hooked on weed. Even so, the the real problem with this whole wedding idea not a bad wedding idea, but you got to know your audience. Well, it has if to it be was broadcast just a bunch of, up front. If it was just a bunch of her friends, and she knew they would be cool with it. And she like already gauged reactions or I whatever. I think it's still it you been... still tell them. You announce it. You say because because they, they got to figure out how to get home. Like if you're they come to your wedding. Like they're like I'm just gonna go to this wedding reception and whatever. Like for example, Couchman Pete. I went to his wedding. It was in the middle of effing nowhere. I had to drive like 40 minutes to get there. If I would have got there and started drinking the punch and there was like acid or alcohol in it, I'm stranded 40 <laughs> minutes from my house with no way to get home. I'd be pissed off, you yeah, know. Like, like I be- said, and like, you know, like I said, know your audience. Is everybody staying the night? Has it already been like? Is it a lockdown situation? Right. It, there are. I feel like there is a way, or a, 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 a like a way to do this activity of surprise. There's drugs in it. <laughs> If everybody's cool with well, okay. me. Okay. All right. All right. Let's, let's all devil's advocate. Lay out the scenario that it's surprise <laughs> drugs is a good. Surprise is drugs. A, is a good, a good scenario. Yeah. Go all ahead. Right, so every, everybody at the party has a headache. And you surprise <laughs> put Tylenol. Oh, <laughs> surprise. It's drugs. Surprise. All your headaches are gone. <laughs> Every person has a headache. All right. I guess sometimes that'll happen. But I can see, like you said, it's like, hey, oh hey, God. you know all your friends smoke weed, yeah. right? Yeah. And then you're like, we're having a lockdown wedding, like at X o'clock. Mm. We're lo- everyone's there for the night. We have places for people to sleep. And then you're like, and people are already there smoking or whatever. And you're like, surprise, all the food had weed in it and everyone's do, like maybe yeah. then yeah. but uh, arrangements have been made people know that they're staying yeah. like I, I yeah i feel like if you know your audience well enough you're close enough you know even if there are like minor hard feels gonna be like oh man that's so becky yeah. you're really putting me out now i have to you know i feel like if someone would have done that like the 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 uh the greenhouse on uh, in the harbor that we used to go hang out at all the time that like oh yeah like yeah, yeah, you know but yeah. there was people like Z used to never take marijuana if someone would have tried to give him weed way back then he would have beat the f out of someone 
yeah, when he was, he was super anti weed, yeah, like yeah, he would have yeah. killed a man. We, we definitely had some friends who were against it. Me, yeah, me, me definitely being one of them. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, marijuana is for the antichrist. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. I don't even believe in it. <laughs> I don't even know why that plan exists in this world. Who would have ever created that, Jesus? But I, I still stand firm on the fact of like if somebody were to sneak alcohol into the punch, and I asked them, and I was like, oh. I'm not going to be like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> How dare you put vodka in this punch? I'm going to be like, all right, cool. Yeah. And absolutely. I'm going to keep it moving. So anyways, that's all time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Go to thecrazytown.com. And for Jonas, TNT. Uh, we out.